So, you just want to extend an image beyond its original frame. Not a problem. There are two different ways to do this. You can do it all at the same time, or you can do it piece by piece. The first requires you to pad the image. To do this in GIMP, drag the image in, go to Image, Canvas Size, set the new size you want, move it where you need, or just click here to center it. Then, just go to File, Export, and turn it into a PNG. In Photoshop, go to the Image, Canvas Size, set your new dimensions here, then File, export and save it as a PNG. If you don't have Photoshop and you don't have GIMP, you can always use the tried and true glue of Microsoft Paint. Right click your image, open with MS Paint, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, resize, pick however many pixels you want, Control A to delete the canvas, Control V to paste your original image, move it where you need, file, save as, PNG. Once you've padded your image one way or another, in Dolly, hit upload. If you're using the MS Paint version, edit image and left click to erase everything around your image and try to remove all the white space. If you exported from GIMP or Photoshop, this step is done automatically for you. So from here, just left click anywhere in the empty space, the prompt will drop, type in whatever you want to fill that empty space with, hit generate, and the AI will imagine outside the image for you. Now, if you don't like what it gives you, at this point, you can always just adjust the prompt, hit generate again, and you'll probably get something better that looks a little bit different. Now, if you want to generate new areas piece by piece, you can actually do it without needing to add extra padding. Just upload the raw image, crop, accept, control scroll down to zoom out, click here to add a new frame, and you'll be able to left click drag a box to represent a new section that will be created. Once you've placed the box, go up to the prompt and describe what you want. Press generate, and you're done. It'll give you four variations to choose from. So just pick the one that you like the most and hit accept. Do this for each area you want to generate, and and when you're done, just go up and click this arrow on the right to save it. For those of you who are wondering what the difference between the two methods is, basically when you generate piece by piece you have a lot more control. But sometimes it's harder to keep things consistent because you're essentially generating a different area one at a time. But the first method generates all the empty space at the same time, so there's a higher chance that the background will probably match itself altogether. So hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.